Ever since mankind first walked the Earth, they have always found ways to create life-changing solutions. Some of these inventions stay the same for ages, while others get replaced by better substitutes. If we talk about the cycling world specifically, battery-powered bikes have been leading the way since their inception. And we all know that the worldwide EV adoption rate is touching the sky. So we might soon see some limitations of lithium-ion batteries. That's why some companies are tended to do things in a different way, like the hydrogen-powered bikes, also known as hydrobikes. These companies from leading nations around the world are developing these concepts. Although hydrobikes look and feel very similar to traditional e-bikes, they are just as sustainable as them. So today we'll find out the potential benefits of hydrogen-powered bikes and answer some questions. Will they eventually replace traditional e-bikes? Or will they assist them to expand the market? Hydrogen-powered bikes operates in a bit of different method. At first glance, you might think it's a gas-powered bike because of a bulky cylinder. These bikes come with an onboard hydrogen fuel cell system. Inside the bike, there's a hydrogen gas tank that undergoes an electrochemical process in the fuel cell. At first, hydrogen gas from the bike's tank goes into the fuel cell. Inside, the hydrogen splits into two parts, protons and electrons. The protons move through a special part, called an electrolyte, to another part called the cathode. Meanwhile, the electrons flow through a wire that creates electricity. This electricity powers the bike's motor and helps the bike go. The only thing that comes out of this process is water vapor, which is very clean and doesn't harm the environment. So, hydrogen bikes are eco-friendly, with almost zero pollution. However, electric bikes are already everywhere. You've probably seen them zipping around town. So, why even talk about hydrogen bikes? Well, there are a few reasons they might have an edge over regular e-bikes. Because most e-bikes today use lithium-ion batteries, which need rare materials to make. And in the future, there are chances of having a shortage of the raw material of these batteries. Despite efforts to source these minerals responsibly, we still rely on suppliers from a few countries, sometimes with questionable practices. On the other hand, hydrogen can be made at home using a small generator. You can even buy one online. It requires electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, so there's some energy loss there, like when you charge a battery. But if you power the generator with solar energy, it's like using free sunlight to make fuel. Just add water. Once you're on a hydrogen bike, it runs with almost no emissions. Just like a battery-powered bike. Well, almost zero emissions, except for a bit of water vapor that comes out of the bike's fuel cell. So, the bikes offer a different way to ride clean and might have some advantages over traditional e-bikes, especially when it comes to how the fuel is made and used. If we look back into 2013, the first e-bike in the world using hydrogen was introduced. It was named as Alpha. Since then, many manufacturers have worked on these type of bikes, and now there have developed some models that perfectly goes with modern cyclists' riding style and need. Overall, hydrogen bikes are gaining traction. And behind this, there are some companies like Pragma Mobility, Lavo, and Yuan Technology who have been in the forefront with their cutting-edge designs. For instance, Pragma Mobility is a company from France. It has been diving into hydrogen-powered e-bikes with full potential. Their latest model, the Alpha Neo, is equipped with a hydrogen fuel cell that refuels in less than two minutes. It's powered by a 250-watt electric motor and can cover 120 to 150 kilometers on a single charge. However, it does come with a hefty price tag of around 5,893 US dollars. Then in Australia, Lavo is turning heads with their hybrid hydrogen battery. They use solar power to split water into hydrogen and oxygen through a process called electrolysis. The hydrogen is then stored in a special metal hydride and converted into battery power for their bikes. Lavo has partnered with Studio Mom to create a flexible modular frame hydrogen bike. This bike can easily switch between being a city cruiser and a transport bike for small businesses. All of these extras makes it a super versatile and practical option for daily commuters. Over in China, Yuan Technology is rolling out their foldable hydrogen-powered bikes. These sleek models feature a hydrogen fuel cell and a low-pressure storage system for hydrogen. They're designed to last longer 
and be more eco-friendly than traditional e-bikes with lithium-ion batteries. Painted in a calming blue hue, these bikes are lightweight and can reach speeds up to 23 km per hour. According to the manufacturers, they can cover around an impressive 70 km range on a full hydrogen charge. Since 2017, Yuan Technology has been refining their approach to hydrogen-powered bikes, focusing on safe and efficient hydrogen storage solutions. Right now, there are only a few hydrogen-powered electric bikes you can buy, with the Alpha Neo being one of the most successful. But as hydrogen fuel cell technology gets better, we're going to see more cool projects in the electric mobility world. The latest exciting development is the Boon H2. It's an electric bike powered by hydrogen. The bike is created by the Irish startup Hubyor. What makes this bike different is that it doesn't use a traditional battery. Instead, it has a hydrogen fuel cell that generates electricity. Even cooler, it comes with an electrolyzer. It means riders can produce the hydrogen gas they need to power the bike right at home using just water. This at-home charging feature is what makes the Boon H2 really stand out. You won't have to depend on external refueling stations, especially in urban areas. The bike has a removable hydrogen tank that holds about 4.4 pounds of hydrogen and can handle up to 10 bars of pressure. It also comes with a Shimano Tourney derailleur, an LCD display, adjustable power assistance, and all the other features of modern-day electric bikes. Apart from that, there are some more companies that are paving the way for cleaner and more efficient transportation options with hydrogen bikes. And with this growing industry of hydrogen bikes, one big question arises. Will they take over or work together with e-bikes to expand the market? However, hydrogen and battery-powered e-bikes each bring something special, along with some drawbacks. Hydrogen bikes can go further and refuel faster than battery bikes, which is great for long trips. But they come with an expensive price tag, and there still aren't much hydrogen refueling stations where we can fill up our tanks like we do with gas. On the other hand, battery bikes have plenty of charging stations and a big user base already. Hydrogen bikes can grow by using this existing setup, but there will be some doubt in people's adoption. So instead of competing, these bikes can help grow the e-bike market by meeting different needs. Some riders might love the convenience of battery bikes, while others might prefer the long range of hydrogen bikes. Improvements in one type can benefit the other, like better materials or designs. Both types are good for the environment, offering more choices to reduce reliance on fossil fuels. The e-bike world can benefit from both technologies working together. Yes, when you have bikes that use both hydrogen and batteries, you'll get range, performance, and reliability, all together for even better performance. Hydrogen-powered bikes can have electric assistance, which will help them in emergencies. Plus, it can also extend the range to a surprising level. Similarly, battery-powered bikes can have some assistance from hydrogen, or some options to use hydrogen. So riders can benefit from both sides. Hydrogen-powered bikes are not a threat to e-bikes. Hence, if they are combined and brought to the people, we'll get some new things to explore. The range will be high, and there will be no chance of pollution. Hydrogen-powered bikes are bringing new tech to the electric bike world, and they don't have to compete with traditional battery-powered e-bikes. Instead, they can work together to give riders more options and help make travel greener. Hydrogen bikes offer longer rides and quick refueling, which nicely complement the well-established battery bikes with their widespread charging stations and ease of use. Picture future bikes that combine both technologies for top-notch performance and flexibility. This partnership not only gives consumers more choices, but also sparks innovation across the industry, paving the way for greener, more sustainable e-bike options.